Today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to cut out trees in Photoshop for composite. Okay, so what we have here is the tree that we're going to cut out, and we're going to cut out all of these branches over here. So this can be pretty tough sometimes and time consuming, and I'm going to show you a really quick way of doing this. And then what we want to do is place it into this composite here. So I've previously done this, and you can see in the bottom right there's this tree that I've cut out. And you can see the edges over here of the tree. They look pretty good. They're jagged and they, they follow. They, they look like a, a normal tree. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Normally when you're cutting out an image for a composite, use the pen tool. So that's the same tool I'm going to use on this. Just go over here, hit P on the keyboard. And the way that you use the pen tool on normal composite is you, you click and drag to create curves and you follow the shape of whatever you're cutting out. So that is the technique that I usually use, but whenever it comes to trees, it, it, it just takes a ton of time because you're following all of these little curves and, and it just can be really slow if you're wanting to be really precise like that. So a quick way to do this without taking a million years to cut this thing out is just get your pen tool and you can just make little dots as you go and you can just kind of drag and actually you don't have to drag at all you just make these little dots just right next to each other now what that's going to do is that's going to create a natural uh, jagged edge along this tree and it's going to make it look way more realistic and the thing is you don't really necessarily need to follow the, the shape of the tree see how I'm not even really following it there I'm just kind of making dots and just clicking around here and going around the whole tree. So I'm just going to cut that off right there and and do the same thing over here. So I'm kind of following, but you know, not not that much anyway. Okay, so once I got that there, now I'm going to let's see, come right over here. Do the same thing. And then let's let's just say I went around the whole tree and I'm going to come over on this area. Same thing here. And then now where, where there's parts that are really smooth, so smooth edges like this, you can actually just make a long line, you know, or just follow that line right there, kind of how I was showing you before. And when it gets to some more jagged edges, then do that technique again, where you're just making dots around. And it's actually pretty quick compared to the other way of doing it, where you're zoomed in really far, trying to get every single little detail in there. Okay, so once we have connected our dots, you just right click and you can actually see right now already the curves of the tree and the jagged edges and all that. So I'm going to right click and go make selection. Now I'm going to feather that at one. Just hit OK. Then you want to, once this is a layer, just go Shift Command I to invert the selection and just delete. So now we have our tree just like that and it has a nice feathered edge along here. So now just bring that into your composite or into your image. And there's also, you know, some coloring issues and whatnot. We're not gonna focus on those right now. We're just focusing on the actual tree. Okay. So once you have once you've done that technique, you can see that it is matching up a lot better with the background and it's actually looking like a tree here. You can see the the edges here it's a little bit it's not perfect it's just kind of some jagged edges it's really nice so I'm gonna show you on this image down here that I've already placed into the background right here you can see that there's these these nice curves and you know some more jagged edges over here and it's looking really good really quickly let me show you the wrong way of doing this so and the way that doesn't look as good. So you can, I mean, this necessarily, or this isn't necessarily the wrong way of doing it, but it's just, I don't, I don't like it as much because it doesn't look so good. So let's say I'm making these curves here, and I, you know, wanted to follow that right there. You know, they're they're a little bit jagged. Let's see. And you can see that this is taking a lot longer, even though I'm going pretty fast. 
um, with the pen tool. Okay, so, and let's say we've, we connect this over here, and I make these little adjustments over here, I'm just cutting out exactly what I see. Okay, whatever. So let's let's just say we've we've cut that out. I'm just gonna connect the dots here and do the same thing. Make selection, invert, and then I'm there. Okay, so you see here that that took a lot longer. And I mean, it's looking okay. There's some um, you know pretty good edges, but when I bring it in, let me make it the same size as this tree right here. So when I bring it in to the, com to the composite you can see that edges such as these that I've made um, just a really nice curve that doesn't really look so good. The edge that looks a lot better is this one right here that is just sort of random and um, even though you didn't follow the exact shape of the tree it's looking pretty good. Alright guys, so that is how you cut out a tree to make it look good in your composite. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you again soon.